week five. I can't do signals with my hands. Week five of the college football season has come and it is gone like that. And you know, when you really think about it, it was kind of a quiet week. Um, very, very quiet around here. Um, we'll talk about um, a bunch of things in this video today um, that we need to discuss and get off our chests. So let's get started with some, uh, some good old fashioned, uh, good old fashioned beatdowns. I mean, did you expect or? Duke, of all teams, the beat down on Virginia Tech. Nope, not at all. And it was very surprising to see Virginia Tech will take a loss like this. Oh, yeah, Navy suffered their first loss as well. Um, um, really um, didn't watch that game, but uh, Memphis is undefeated. They are looking pretty good right now. They stopped the option. They stopped the flex bone offense very well um, when they needed to. Um Here's a game that wasn't a trap game at all. That was also a blowout. Hey, remember Maryland? Remember what they scored like 100-something points against inferior competition? Well, yeah, they got destroyed by Penn State. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. You mean to tell me that... You mean to tell me that Maryland was supposed to be something? Well, that narrative got changed quickly. I mean, good Lord. Good Lord, Penn State. You didn't have to do it something like that. Um, also Friday night, well, it's official. There's no more undefeated Pac-12 teams. It is October. There are no more undefeated Pac-12 teams. Arizona State did what they needed to do. It was a slugfest. It was an, it was an ugly, ugly game, but you know what? You, if you were firm enough for Herm like I was, then you know that Arizona State got the victory. They did what they needed to do, and they got it. Um, Wisconsin, um, pretty good, pretty damn good defensive performance against Northwestern, although they allowed some garbage points at the very end. Um, very, very good defensive performance. It wasn't even close. Northwestern didn't really have much of a chance. Um, here's another team who didn't really have much of a chance. It was, um, it was Texas Tech. It was really, really rough. Um, Jalen Hurts, yeah, and, and the whole Oklahoma offense was just slinging the ball up and down the field. Texas Tech used two quarterbacks for some reason. I don't know why. They should have stuck with the second guy, um, Duffy, instead of the uh, the first guy. He Duffy was doing a lot better for him. That's why they got the 16 points. But, man, Oklahoma just did work. It was, it was rough to watch that game, let me tell you. Um, Texas A&M shouldn't even be in the top 25, but here they are. Uh, still in the top 25, still you know, hanging around. They barely beat Arkansas. Um, Alabama rolls um, against Ole Miss. Wasn't even close. Um, it was close for like five seconds, but then, you know. Uh, um, Notre Dame, Notre Dame, Notre Dame. Um, it, this was also a really good defensive game for a while. Then Notre Dame's defense was just, oof, in the second half. It was absolutely delicious to watch Notre Dame's defense in the second half against Virginia. Um, Virginia's quarterback didn't know what to do. He didn't know what to do. He didn't know what, what was going on at all, you know. Michigan State, same story. Um, they, have, they they basically they were in a dogfight against Indiana, but they pulled out in the end. Indiana with another comical error um, at the very end of the game. Um, watched USC. USC didn't really do much. Wasn't even close. That doesn't even matter. Um, Wake Forest lost in college. Is a very very interesting game. Did not see that at all. But twenty seven twenty four Wake Forest. They got they got the job done. Um, Really, um, the big meat of the picture here is Clemson, North Carolina, and let's just talk about it right now. Um, North Carolina should have won that game. I'm not gonna lie to you, um, Clemson has not looked. Clemson looks like 2013, or rather, um, the 2014. I think that the 2014 Florida State. 
that team. That team, they're, they're looking like that Florida State right now. Um, you know, Jane just went to the second year. They're looking like that yeah, kind of team right now. Um, struggling to really find their footy, but they're they're winning. And that's all that really matters is the W at the very end of the day. Um, what a dumb decision by Mac Brown um, to go with a triple option at the goal line to try and win the game. You know, maybe I would have ran a misdirection to the outside or something, you know, if there was nothing open. There was nothing open if I wanted to try a pass. I would just, you know, had the quarterback, you know, improvise, do an RPO or something. Just take the points. You know, really it could have been just take the points. But, you know, I don't think I don't think we would have wanted to see a long overtime period like it was last year all over again. SMU's ranked now. What a shock. You know, they're five and oh, but South Florida's trash. Charlie Strong should be fired, but he's not. He's not going to get fired. Not at all, man. Florida, easy win. UCF, easy win. It's Connecticut of all teams. <laughs> Connecticut. Auburn, also an easy win. Ohio State beats the brakes off of Nebraska. It wasn't even close. Who in the world decided to let that game be in prime time? Um, Oklahoma State, Kansas State now. Big 12 fans like myself are going to be pr- – Pretty pissed off. Um, we're already pissed off this Big 12 Now stuff on ESPN+. Plus. Um, and this game was on ESPN+. Plus. Wasn't even that close, really. Um, you know, Oklahoma State did what they need to do. It's Kansas State. Just, uh, just what a, what a, what a, what a time. What a time to be alive. You in the Pac-12 dark game, so some pretty interesting stuff there. You know, Arizona. You know, without Khalil Tate, they had to rely on their backup. Um, DTR was getting his rabbit whooped by Arizona's defense all night long. It wasn't even it wasn't even that good. Um, but ultimately, Arizona pulls it out in the end. Utah with a strong defensive performance against the Air Raid and Mike Leach's um, offense, and you know Anthony Gordon only allowed 13 points. So Washington State is in, is in, it's in another. Um, it's in another place where it's like, oh yeah, we're we're back to being, you know, not not the greatest, but you no, know, there we're there. Uh, but ultimately, the Pac-12 is going to be all right. Um, I think the conference is already done as far as playoff considerations goes. Um, there's just too much cannibalism in this conference to really um, to really get a contender out of there. I don't think Oregon's going to do it. I don't think Washington's going to do it. I don't think Utah's going to do it. I think all three of those teams will end up with two losses by the end of the season. It's just too too much for the Pac-12 to even bear. But there's some, there's some other things as well that I want to talk about. Um, Jalen Fields, Jalen Hurts, just Fields, Tua, those three guys right there, there, and he might as well book them for New York already um, after the Army Navy game. Those guys have been lightening, uh, lighting up the field, up and down the field all season long. It hasn't even been close. And I'd include Joe Burrow as well. Um, but, you know, LSU's defense is kind of boo boo. Um, LSU didn't even play this week. So, um, yeah, those three guys, they're going. They're, they, those guys are definitely going. Joe Burrow might be up there too. Maybe Jonathan Taylor as well. Um, those guys, all five of those guys can just go waltz into New York and just do whatever they need to do. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know about the Big Ten right now. It looks like it's Ohio State and Wisconsin right now. Um, same with the Big 12. It's only really two teams. It's Oklahoma and Texas. But Baylor's sneaking up in there. Um, and that's pretty much it. That Baylor, maybe Kansas State, maybe Oklahoma State, they're sneaking up in there um, to catch up to Texas but and Oklahoma right now. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, SEC, it, it's, it's, it's a free-for-all right now. Um, you know, Auburn, really good defense. Bo Nix is – Bo Nix has these weeks where it's it's very inconsistent. He's kind of like Trevor Lawrence, very inconsistent at times. Uh, but yeah, Auburn's defense is legit. 
Alabama's Alabama, boring type of football, you know, even though they hurry it up a little bit more now, it's still the same old Alabama football. Still, have, They still have three wide receivers most of the time, or two tight ends, or sometimes the spread, you know. You know still the same boring Alabama football still. It's still that same old stuff. Um, but yeah, the Pac-12 is wild. The Big Ten is cut dry with maybe like two or three teams, Penn State included as well. Uh, Big 12 is still cut and dry. Three teams at best vying for the title. Um, SEC is a dog pile. ACC may be, may be just be Clemson. It may just be Clemson. It could be, you know, Wake Forest or something like that. They could sneak up in there and do something. Um, right now, ugh, ACC is out. Um, the jury is out in the ACC. It's just a weaker conference. So we got to get give some love to some of these smaller teams. Appalachian State, where are they? They're not ranked yet. Why are they not ranked? SMU is. Boise State is, UCF is, um, and I know UCF fans are going to be on me about it, maybe, who knows, they don't watch this channel, we all, we all know smaller channels don't get the love they deserve, um, yeah, that's all I've got for week five, um, it's going to be a lot to really take in, you know, and week six is right around the corner, so catch you guys, very next video, very, very soon. That being said, peace, everybody.